All right, so today I'm going to have a look at the Wires X functionality of this FTM 7250D. Um, basically, it works a lot like the other Yezu mobiles that have the uh, Wires X. Um, this one, by default, the Wires X is programmed to the P3 button on the controller here on the hand mic. So if you press that on a repeater that you know has the uh, digital and the, the wires X, it should blink wires like that and eventually say connected. Now this repeater has a default channel that it connects to. Um, this is that WM connect here. Um, now what you can do is there's a website, since this, you can't download the list of channels like you can in some of the fancier radios, um, there's a list online, um, you can find a node list, but that's not what you want, you want the active channel list, they're actually different, so if you're having problems where half of the codes you punch in don't work, double check to make sure you're checking the right list there, but, um, what you can do is, for example, um, let's say you find a channel on the list that looks interesting. If you scroll to the left here, there's a section called EN, and that's for um, manual entry of a channel. So what you can do is if you go on your control here on your uh, microphone, and you type in the number, so this one is uh, for a link in Australia. I think it's sunny out there right now because it's late here so I'll give that a shot. Two, four, zero, two, six. Now when I press pound, the pound sign here, it's going to go out and try to connect. So if I click that, all of a sudden you'll see connect there and then you should get the um, title of the channel scrolling across here so you see I got Australia link here and if I scroll one over to C0 that should also be the active channel now let's say for example I wanted to save this to a memory so I can get it later there's a few other memories if you got C1 through uh, C2, 3, 4, 5 um, it looks like I have it on 2 already but what you would do is you would hold the 2 key down and you hear that beep and it would put it in to C2. Now, if you want to disconnect, you just hold the star on there for a few seconds and it should transmit half a second and then it'll show disconnect. And then this should be the call sign either of the repeater or if you're using like a little uh, link node of your own, then that would pop up there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, what I can probably do is let's see if I can find one that's active right now. I know everyone tries the America Link, I believe it's called. And that one's 210. Eight zero. So why don't I go over to here and type in two one zero eight zero and then press pound. Looks like we have someone on here. This is K-E-8-A-E-W, K-E-8-A-E-W. K-E-8-A-E-W, roger that. This is uh, AC3 Highwire, the handle here is Bob, uh, in uh, southeast Pennsylvania, good. Handle here is Alex, and you have me from uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan.
Roger in Roberts, Michigan. And uh, how's the uh, how's the weather doing out here tonight? Oh, it's pretty much been rainy all week, so we're kind of heading towards that winter time. Roger that. Roger that in the winter time. It's, uh, eh, out here it's, uh, it's still not cold yet. Very cool. Uh, I'm going to close this uh, off, but there's how it works. Through and, uh, some 